<laughs> really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going to f out to f Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and screwdriver and bacon is okay. I assume one is for removing the helmet. Is the other one necessary? Is the bacon necessary for the removal process, or is that for after? I only ask because this game is weird. So, are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Uh, so you want a stealth camouflage and they gave you a chaff grenade? That's messed up. <laughs> uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? Uh, but I mean the ones where the clothes are the only things you see and the other and the person is invisible. Why? But, but why though? Come again? There's people out there. T -t 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 why? T -t -t but why though? Where you can only see if. <laughs> I was trying to find something like that. That would find something that would let me cater to that. But my misunderstood. Or, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that made me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a Namco module or Namco module, Nano Camo mod module, Nano Camo. Haven't you heard of Nano Camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched into a civilian into civilian appliances, and stuff that turns you invisible is considered civilian. They use nanotechnology to make the fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. That actually would be pretty cool. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does it have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey the last time I checked, though. Almost. To the human eye. Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surrounding colored blob. <laughs> That's funny. And we will- oh, she's one of those robot things, huh? See di things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I needed. Now, what was that talking to yourself again? Oh! The TV got like that at the very beginning of the game, too. Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Alright, let's see here. Piano woman. Five out of hide, five Bronson extract. All aged. Oh, oh, I put too many Adele hides in there. One, no ice, and age. Two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, two powdered delta, three flanergide, and three carmotrines. And mixed. Ta da! One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. I like this sprite. This sprite is pleasant. Kinda reminds me of Sayori's happy face sprite. 
That's nice. Okay, then how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket for Friday? Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice and for giving it to me. Too bad it was filled with a broom of dogs, otherwise I would have enjoyed a drink here. <laughs> Their sad face is really amusing too. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. I know. Hmm. If you're really lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay. Really? Why do you gotta go there? I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all the, uh, does all that. Do you pay him to? Oh, don't don't be like that. Finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, uh, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. <laughs> yeah. Don't let him live it down. Was it a girl? I wish. I wonder what it could have been then. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, what do you do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. That's a fun way to describe it. Nebulous. You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not one to judge. Seems like she she knows what's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really necessary, and it's kind of a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. <laughs> Did I tell any lies? No, but you might have, you know, wounded his feelings a little bit. No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? Because she put it on without thinking about it? She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting stuff that you find on is problematic. No kidding. Why do you... Why do you gotta go there? Why does it seem like that's just where you want to steer- <laughs> A bit early for those kind of stories, don't you think? Nope. Well, I'm with Jill here. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come, before, come in here before you start. Aw, oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird. But not that weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Um... What? Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11am, dress as requested, I accidentally... Advance that too quickly, play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and then leave. Okay, well, since he didn't do that, this is better than I was originally anticipating. But after three years, it's unlikely that that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years. Oh, his daughter's probably dead. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter on his birth- her da on part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? had seen she died four years ago. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Oh, I'm sure it will be absolute lunacy. Moon. Six of Elhide. One Flanergide, one Powdered Delta. All on the rocks. Two Karma Trees. Or Karma Trines. Alright. And blended. 
No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for once, for one week every month. <laughs> Excuse me. Sweet, girly, and happy. Here you are. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. I don't think that's where Jill was going. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Well, that's nice, I guess. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? I'm assuming that's like the model, like the king, whatever, that Dawson was talking about earlier. Yes and no. Out of the factory, we all look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Uh, and you look like babies outside the factory? Ugh, that's weird. Nope, every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Okay. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Oh man, it's getting to sound like some of that Detroit become human type of society. Well, what I imagine that type of society is, I don't really know anything outside of the E3 trailer about that game. Said upgrade alters its body into something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know right now. I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. Oh. And her line of work is Android Lady of the Night. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. That almost seemed all, that, coupled with the face, that seems really dejected. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. Ugh. So if I stop looking at ugh, I'll lose my advantage. I didn't think about it that way. I, I hope you never have to. Should I think about it at all? No, not really. I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now I'm just fine the way I am. Well, that's nice. Good evening, Gil. Jill and Gillian. Welcome to... I don't like you. That's what I say whenever I say something at the same time as someone I'm around. I just look at them and I'll be like, I don't like you. Does that happen a lot? This dude's design is cool. What with his... I don't know if that's supposed to be like a single glass fire or optic glass thing, like a scouter, or if it's like supposed to be an eye patch. But the design is cool either way. Not really. It would happen less if you would just let people call her, if Jill would just let people call her Jules. So is Gil supposed to be pronounced like Jill? Because I'm still not going to do it. Call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Oh, really? Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist, I just got a hefty bonus the other day, and I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay! I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud. We already made a sunshine cloud. But this time, I guess we have to double the stuff. So four each of these. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
four. And we're just gonna load it up with the alcohol because I like to watch the world burn. And this will probably get all kinds of a reaction from her. All on the rocks and blended. Some taste like old chocolate milk with its good smell still intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. That is weird. Alright, so that's one. And he wanted a gut punch. So. G. Gut punch. Five Bronson extract and one flanagide. I did not mean to do that. Reset. Two, three, four, five. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot to... Man, I need to pay more attention to the things that are the actual instructions. And then all aged, mixed. One gut punch. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something, uh, private? Oh, God. If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. <laughs> oh, boy. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Oh, oh, I hit my microphone with my headphone cord. Then go ahead. I don't think I've been asked... I don't think I've... Ugh. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nano machines in the other person after... Well... After they were, ugh, violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose. Ugh. <laughs> yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has ever tried to dispel. It's true, but it's also not true at the same time. You have a bunch of those half-truths, don't you? Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted, or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding nights, and BAM! Oh god! Their partners end up spending some time spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modeled, I've modded myself so that, so much that if nano, or if tracking nano machines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity. To be honest, <laughs> there's also this urban myth that nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Ask him about the eye patch goggle thing. How much of you is still organic? Now that now that she mentions it, his one arm does look significantly different. Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know, that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine. See if I care. <laughs> Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you. Please come again. That girl is something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Girl! I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming. I'm sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. And just like the first one, it will be out of this world. <laughs> Six Bronson extracts. 
Every time I hear the word Bronson, I just think of, first of all, the movie and Tom Hardy's wonderful performance. And then I think of, like, just because of the way that he looked in that movie, I think of the old-timey boxer meme. So every time I think of, like, Bronson Extracts, I just think of that meme just ready to punch you. Ta-da! I'm good at this. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. <coughs> war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to war. Not an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? At first it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. You know, oh, so that's what he is. That explains the weird looking arm and the eye patch goggle thing. Also, Shelly the Killer from Ace Attorney is also polite and pleasant. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to be any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about the police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for using my mind about other folks. My boss? Well, how much power does our boss wield? I've seen what she's done, I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said... Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know about how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I didn't even... Oh, wait. Wait, did we hear a version of this story already? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. <laughs> That's hardcore. Just a rumor, though. Darn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. So you can just hear the different versions of the story, I agree. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. <laughs> that is a wonderful plan, actually. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. Alright. Alright. So we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it there this time. And I guess we'll keep going. So, because uh, we're about 45 minutes, that's only enough for like two.